What's up guys, today we're going to talk about Nginx and how we can use Nginx to set up Nginx as a reverse proxy for our web applications. So before we get into Nginx and how we can set up Nginx as a reverse proxy, let's first talk about what Nginx is, why it's, uh, it's very popular and what features does Nginx provide. So Nginx is a HTTP server which is used in many high traffic websites like uh, Airbnb and Heroku and I think GitHub and many more. So the three important features that Nginx gives is load balancing, one is caching and the other one is reverse proxy that we will cover today. So in load balancing what happens is suppose you have a high traffic website uh, which gets uh, 1000 requests per second, maybe more than that. Uh, so if you have just one server, all the requests, these 1,000 uh, plus requests will be served by just single server. So that response time will be very much. So what we do is we put more servers and we use Nginx as our front-end HTTP server that intercepts all these incoming requests and then distribute these requests to uh, different servers. So if you are having 1,000 requests per second, then we can uh, like balance those incoming requests like say 300 requests to server 1, 300 requests to server 2 and the rest of the request to server 3. So this load on a single server will be distributed and your system will perform much better rather than just having one single server. So we can use Nginx to provide load balancing. The second feature is caching. So in web apps most of the times we uh, respond with uh, CSS file and JS file and images. Uh, most of the time these uh, static files don't change very often. So we can use Nginx caching feature for that. Uh, that will improve the response time and user will have a better experience. So rather than asking for these static resources from our actual application server, web server, we can uh, use Nginx caching and we can use uh, Nginx caching to respond back to the static resources uh, directly to the client. So we don't have to ask uh, our application server to respond back to these uh, static resources. That will also improve the response time and uh, the page will load faster. The last thing is reverse proxy and that's what we uh, covered today. So what reverse proxy actually means is, uh, suppose you are having multiple applications on your server uh, and you can only run one application at a port. So if you are already running one application on port 80, you cannot run another application on port 80. You have to use a different port for that. So now what uh, problem arises is, suppose if you have an application app1.com that is running on port 80, so user can simply request uh, for this application without even specifying the port. So they can say app.1.com, app1.com. So they will get the page. But if you are running another application on the same server, you have to run on different ports. Say you are running on different ports, say 81, app2.com on pay, port 81. Now to access this application, clients have to specify the port number because this is not the default port and browsers uh, put the default for HTTP request they use the default port as 80. So to make this request happen you have to specify the port 81. So to deal with this problem we don't want to specify actually port 81 we just want to give the client a simple URL app2.com where they can access the application. So to how to do that we can put an nginx on the server which will intercept the request that is coming and it will see okay this request is for app2.com and it will uh, like uh, distribute or rather than distribute I should say it will transfer that request uh, to that application that is running on port uh, 81 on the server so this is what a reverse proxy means so let's do that enough talking so let's get into code and how to set up a reverse proxy uh, using nginx so to set up reverse proxy you should have nginx installed first uh, that's not a big deal just do a sudo app get install nginx i already have just do a sudo app get nginx install and you will have nginx install on your system once you have nginx install it, you will have a directory structure like this nginx etc nginx so 
you will have a directory structure like this inside etc nginx directory now this conf.d is the directory where configuration files are stored this is the main configuration file nginx.conf i have already taken a backup for this file this is the backup and two important uh, directories are sites available and sites enable one important thing to note about sites enable directory is whatever configuration you will put into sites enabled this configuration will apply when you do nginx start or nginx reload or nginx restart something like that so on but sites available if you put any configuration file in sites available directory it will not be taken into effect by uh, nginx when you do uh, nginx restart or nginx reload or nginx start so that's an important thing so what we will be doing in our case is we will be creating a file in sites available directory configuration file in sites available directory then we will create a symbolic link for that file in sites enable directory which uh, then can be reloaded by nginx when we reload the nginx uh, service so let's create a configuration file in sites available directory so where am i i'm here so let's get into etc sites etc nginx and sites available directory so let's see if there is anything else already okay there is nothing and one more important thing i forgot to tell so if you see uh, in sites enable if you install nginx first time you will have a default uh, file inside the sites enable directory but i have deleted that file we will be writing our own configuration file so from the scratch and it will be very simple that's why i just deleted that file we won't be requiring that file for our work so currently there won't be any file in sites uh, enabled if you go into sites enabled there won't be any file inside sites enable so let's get back to sites available directory where we will create our file so let's name our file you can name this file anything mm, what should i name it sudo vi since we gonna use uh, node.js application to demo the reverse proxy thing uh, i will just name this file node app node app yeah that's okay node app okay now here we're gonna write our configuration file so before we write our configuration file let's see the application that we are going to use in this uh, example so we are having a simple application called hello which ha which is written using express so if you see the server file we are using express uh, web framework uh, for this application the simple uh, file uh, on the root we are just serving the index.ejs file which is this file we will get back to this and we are specifying the public directory for our static assets uh, which should be the public directory which is here so all our css images and js will come from this uh, folder and we are starting this application on port 3000 so let's first run this application so i'm going to create a new tab and um, it's on home hello and we're gonna just say node.js at server.js so catch the action at localhost 3000 so let's get to localhost 3000 and this is the index.ejs page so if you see index.ejs file so this is the style sheet we are loading and JS file and some heading and then this image of Vaca Stadium. So if you see the network tab, if I reload the page again, those static assets will be loaded, CSS file, JS and that image. Now our aim is to be able uh, to allow clients to access this application without even specifying the port. So internally on the server, this application is running on port 3000, but we want uh, our users to be 
able to access this application just by specifying the port uh, this uh, uh, this host name in this case localhost without specifying any port so to do that we're gonna create a configuration file to allow uh, connection uh, on port 80 which will be handled by nginx and will be uh, distributed to this application or transferred to this application running on port 3000 so let's create uh, that configuration now so let's write okay it's a vi editor vi editor so let's go to insert mode and server and it should listen to port 80 because we want our users to be able to access this without even specifying the port number so port 80 and location should be from the root and we're gonna say we're gonna use pass okay it's not pass it's a proxy pass actually so let's delete this line so it's a proxy pass and we're gonna specify it to transfer the request to 127 which is loop back to the local machine 127.0.0.1 at the port which our application is running on it's a uh, 3000 and then colon and that's it so just close the location context and then just close the server that's it and let's save this wq and and one more thing we have to do don't forget that we have to create a link so that when we reload the nginx this file will be taken into effect so let's create a symlink for that sudo soft link for etc mm, nginx sites available and what we named this uh, node app I guess yeah node app and etc symlink in the directory nginx sites enable and node app so this will create the symlink now let's start nginx so sudo etc and at zero etc and at d and nginx and just start so nginx started now if we say localhost we should be able to access the application so that's what we were trying to do so internally our application is running on 3000 but user can access it from just localhost so it's actually just 127 dot o dot o dot one which is localhost so they can access the application without even specifying the port on which it's actually running so that's what we wanted to do uh, we should we were trying to allow our application to be accessed from outside uh, on a different port so this is what reverse proxy means in the next uh, one we will see how to uh, configure multiple applications on the port 80 by using different URLs. So we will see that in the next one.